All right guys, so in the last video we took a look at the model of support goods folding cannon. This time we're going to be taking a look at number 11. This would be the Trident Spear. So once again, we have a couple different options for this. This is just another just simple pack here. So as the name would have you believe, this is the Trident Spear. You have an option here once again, either the Trident or the Spear option, how you want to make that. Looks like we have a kind of connector part there for that, probably for connecting this onto the forearm. And then a couple of wire parts so you can actually have it like shooting off on a sort of wire guided sort of system. So that's pretty cool as well. This price for this one is 800 yen. We'll take a look here at the back of the kind of container, this packaging. I should say and there's once again all of the parts for that so you have a few different different blade parts the handle parts so you can actually make the handle a little bit shorter if you wanted to as well or omitted completely of course and we have some uh, options here shown used with the Jinrai frame arms girl so you can see there just the blade mounted onto her forearm looks like or then with the wire effects in use both of them to make this really sort of cool look with the trident sort of flying out around it like that and then this one I believe that it looks like the stylet interceptor there anyway or some form of that anyway you can also form them into this kind of bow weapon as well which i'm not particularly into but i know some some people do like that sort of style weapon so you can make that as well but let's take a look at what we've got here so inside of there we have the instructions showing the assembly of that you can see all of that on here and then we've got our two wires here in black now they're pretty thin but they do seem pretty strong so we'll see how well they'll hold the weight of the end of the trident once they're actually in use and then we've got runner a here rw011 and once again it's just all molded in just a kind of standard gray color for some blades and handle parts and then we're going to be as well just some more connector parts and things like that there you can see is that part for connecting that onto the forearm or whatever making the bow sort of style weapon the runner c is molded in a metallic silver plastic so this is kind of nice that you do get at least a little bit of color variation for the blade tips you'll have those in silver in case you don't want to end up fully painting these parts so let me get this all built up and then we'll take a look at some different options with some different kits all right so here's how that is gonna look all put together it's pretty cool let me just check the length here for you guys that's gonna be right about 20 centimeters long at this length and just the staff obviously you can just hold on to that wherever it's just got the giant uh, spear end there on the end but you can also open that up there's a hinge here and then the blades themselves can also be hinged like so to form the trident there of course and now these separate parts here on the side can also be removed and then we have some connectors for those these tiny little connector pieces will just plug into there and then you can plug this onto your kit just in any three millimeter peg hole space to plug these knives under there so plug in them onto like the forearm of a frame arms girl or frame arms kit or something like that you could have those just mounted on the arm or wherever on the kit and then you have a couple of these male to male pegs here as well now i'm not exactly sure what these are for it's not very clear in the manual but i suppose with these you could just like take that off you can plug this onto just like any one of these spots and just like to plug this onto the front of something else plugging that onto like the front of a gun or something like that i don't know if you wanted to take these parts off and just use this by itself as like a bayonet or something i don't know but you have a couple of just those connector pieces that you can use for stuff as well and the wires are going to fit up through these parts here you fit it up through there and you need to bend the tip to keep it stuck in there alternatively i suppose you could just glue it in there or something and then pull that back through and then when those are attached here is how that is going to look on the wire and so they hold in there pretty well but the wire is definitely not strong enough to hold that up so you're gonna have to use some sort of action base uh, some sort of adapter to actually hold this in the air if you want to pretend like it's actually flying even if you're just holding on to just one uh, bit of wire there like that now let's try maybe we can like try to trick this a little bit by posing the wire in a certain way usually if you curl it like this sometimes you can get it to hold a little bit more weight and it's sort of holding up there like that but not really all that convincing so yeah the wire is not going to be all that strong if you could get maybe just like a larger or stronger gauge or something like that it would be better but just whatever you got here in the box is not enough but it does look cool so it's like you just put that on a stand or something it could be pretty cool or just hold it uh with two hands or something holding one hand on the base part and then one hand near the top like that i don't know it could be looking pretty cool then we do also have this handle part here now this can just plug into there like that and then you can just hold on there's a handle inside here like that so you can just hold on to the handle and just have this like on the side of the arm like so or you can flip this out and turn that around like that and then you would put these like so but you could actually turn these around the opposite way so that they're facing like this 
like that and like that and then you can turn it into like a bow weapon like so. So this is kind of an interesting part to ha have in here as well. I probably won't end up really using this, uh, this part of this, because I'll just keep it as like a staff, spear, trident weapon, but it's pretty cool. All right, now that now that uh, we've seen everything that's included with this, let's get a look at how this is going to look on some, a couple of kids. All right, so here it is on the vulture, and as you can see, looking very cool. And the one thing also about the handle is that in the center of each long part of the staff there, there's like a part where it's not completely cylindrical. It's got like a little bit of a flattened edge on it, and that's where it's going to fit very snugly into the standard frame arms hands, which works out really nice because if it was just holding on to just the circular part, as you guys know, sometimes those circular handles, the weapon will want to rotate or whatever just because of gravity's effect on it, but we, because it fits very snugly into that square uh, space there where it's going to be holding on to that, that actually holds it super duper well, and that is really nice. Okay, and then with Frame Arms Girls, of course, not going to have any trouble with this either. As you can see, the bow does look pretty cool, I think, with Frame Arms Girls. So as it goes with this stuff, always having more options is better than less. So the fact that you can make the bow, I mean, like I said, it's not particularly appealing to me, but it does look pretty cool. And so especially if you were to get one of the Frame Arms Girls like the Materia here or the Innocentia that don't come with any weapons, this is just a cool, simple weapon that you can get for this and it just works really well with the Frame Arms Girl. So yeah, it works out pretty good. Ah, and one other thing that I did also forget to mention is that this bit here at the end can also be removed like that, and so you could put, you know, whatever you want, it's just the same standard 3mm peg. So let's say, for example, you could use our connection piece here, something like this. And again, the wire is not working out so hot, but you guys get the idea. You could have that shooting out like it's on uh, some sort of wire or something. Or of course, if not this, you could just use a just a clear uh, two millimeter rod and make it look like this is like shooting off like something anyway. There's some stuff that you could do with that. Of course, it's cool that that also does come off like so. For these little connector parts, they do have a hole in the center, so you could feed the wire through there, except the hole doesn't go all the way through. So if you just were to just drill that out through the center of there, you could string the wire through that, and then this could be just a connector to plug in the wire to, again, just uh, right into there like that, or wherever anyway, you could use this as a place to plug in the wire into as well if you just drill through that. All right, so let's try this with a couple other Bandai kits here as well. So if we just use those connectors, I think we should just be able to plug this right on here to the forearm of a three millimeter or I should say the 30 minute missions kits, I would say 30 millimeter, but uh, as you can see, those work on the arms perfectly well. And they being on like the side of the arm is a little bit strange compared to like the back of the arm, but anyway, it still works. You can make those work like that for some cool melee weapons to add onto there. Holding on to the staff itself as well, not going to be a problem, but in this case, it's not made to be held directly in there in the hand, so it, it is able to just kind of rotate freely in the hand. So you might have a little bit of issue with that, but as far as just the size of that, you guys can get an idea of how that's going to look at full length, but of course you don't have to use the full length if you use this. Just pop that off, make it a little bit shorter, something like that, but anyway, it does look pretty cool. And it's just a normal high grade kit, of course, you're not going to have any trouble with that either. The size does work out pretty well. It's a bit large, I'll say, for most high grades, it's probably going to be looking uh, pretty big, but I don't know, depending on what you want to go for, that might be you know, what you want, a very large bladed weapon there for a high grade, but I think probably going to look a little bit more uh, better with a mass grade or a 1-100 scale kit if you are going to be using this with Gunplus. So for our final test, let's try this with a 1-100 scale kit as well. All right, and so it's not really gonna fit into the hand really properly, but there it is with the age to normal. But as you can see, the size, the scale works a lot better, I think, with 100 scale kits, definitely. So it looks pretty awesome for sure. And it's a really cool weapon, I gotta say. And just the fact that the blades are there molded and that silver definitely helps a lot. I mean, it's a small thing, but if you're not planning on painting this, you just wanna take it just straight out of the box and use it with a kit. The fact that those are already in that molded silver plastic does look pretty cool, so. Definitely an interesting weapon set with some cool options that you can do with this, and very versatile, I think, just because it's so simple, because it's just a very simple handheld thing that doesn't need to attach onto anything or anything like that. Uh, it's very easy to use this with uh, many, many different kits, not only just the Kodobuki kits like Frame Arms and Frame Arms Girls, but then Bandai kits as well, as we saw, 30 minute missions, high grade, master grade, anything. You may have a little bit of trouble holding it in the hands, depending on the style of master grade hands. These are the ones that are just fixed fingers, so they're, they're meant to hold the beam sabers for this specific kit, but yes, yeah, you can see, you can sort of get it in there, but if you have some different hands, it might work a little bit better for a stronger grip on this. And then with the high grades, it held it pretty well, you just have to worry about the gravity because of just the circular handle for that. 
And so that's pretty much it here for the Trident Spear. Hopefully that was interesting or useful for you guys who may be interested in this weapon. We've got a few more still yet to do, so stay tuned. If you guys have questions or comments, of course, feel free to leave those down below. As always, thank you to USA Gundam Store for their support. Guys, check the link down there in the video description and use that coupon code there. We've got a whole bunch of MSG weapons and frame arm stuff and all that there on the site. So check that out if you're interested in some of these custom weapons like this. So until next time, guys, have a good one. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.